Welcome back to another episode of Reviewing Your Cars, where we take cars from the gallery and we give them a good old rate ski, you know what I'm saying, Joes? Oh, yeah. And if you're waiting on your tax return like I am because I have some car parts planned and maybe some maintenance stuff because the GTI doesn't like to move for more than 30 minutes, we have up to 0% financing, so you can build your car now and then pay it off later with your tax return. So make sure to check that out and then get your car added to the gallery so you can help other people find their fitment and all that good stuff stuff and then we can also review it so let's hop right into it we got the plugs out of the way check out the giveaway we got going on Hell what's the yeah. first car all right so first up for the day it's a little different yeah this see, is different you don't see a lot of these come through on the gallery we had a 2003 bmw z4 okay three liter all right that's a bbs e28 18 by 10 plus 21 in the front and an 18 by 11 and a half plus 28 in the rear some hankook ventus s1 evo 2s 235 35 and a 255 35 sitting on some air performance air suspension let's go you want to read his name sorry crowd that's what it looks like that's all I got. We'll out of put it. the IG tag up there. It's no, I don't want to absolutely murder it. So I, it's our crap. Yeah. Okay. <laughs> um, we got some Sparco seats in here, Max and Designs uh, splitter, skirts and diffuser, and a big Country Labs wing. I'll tell you Let's what. I go. love. That's where you're looking for the RX8, oh, yeah. right? I love me a big Country Labs wing. Dude, they all are right. so rowdy. This thing. This is cool. This is so cool, dude. That rear end looks so damn good. You know what? It reminds me of like an S2K right there. Yeah, honestly, it really does. The Sparco seats in there look really good. The the fitment is literally on point. Yeah. Like I don't think it could be more spot on. It no, looks it really, really damn good. I like the wrap that's going on. It's just not your typical Z4, no. you know. <laughs> I mean, I don't. I haven't seen a lot of these cars modded. Normally, I feel like it's just old dudes driving them. Usually, it's like couples, you know, like, like retired couples. They have a yeah. his and hers. Like I've <laughs> seen the amount of times I've seen that with like these like Z4s and stuff like that, dude. Like it's insane. I love the BBS wheels. I think the big freaking huge wing on there is awesome. I'm ready to rate it. Yeah, me too. Okay, three, two, one, Ten. nine. Ten? I, I love this thing, dude. Jeez. It's really good. If you love it so much, why don't you marry it right, and grab it? Why don't you, you get me? another one so you can have couples cars? <laughs> Moving on to the next car, we have a 1991 Nissan 300ZX Turbo. Let's go on some SSR. Mm. Toaster Strudels. On some SSR toaster <laughs> strudels, front 18 by 10 plus 20. In the rear, we have 18 by 11 plus 25 on some BF Goodrich G4 Sport Comp 2s. In the front, we have 245 40. In the rear, we have 275 35 on some Megan Racing coilovers. Dude, these cars are timeless. This is Zia32 underscores 1991 Nissan 300ZX. Hell yeah. Let's right. see, we got any details. So Fully built motor making 450 horsepower on 91. Hell yeah. We got Damn, fenders baby. rolled, no rubbing or scrubbing issues. Fenders rolled seem to clear that up. Looks like we got a little bit of a red interior on here. Okay. I love the gray. Which I absolutely, dude, those seats pop. Those wheels, dude, Ooh. SSRs. Oh, it's fantastic. Damn, son. The fitment too is on point for being on coilers. Has a nice, good stance to it. The wheels pop, you have that gray, and then you have the white face with the polished lip, make them Hell stand yeah. out. You have the white steering wheel kind of bringing and tying it all together. And then you got the pop of red seats. Yeah. Like this thing is extremely well done in my yeah. opinion. Color combo is absolutely perfect. Uh, photos, by the way, spectacular. Photos are spot on uh, as well. Va Valen visuals or Valen Z, Valens, Valens? Valens visuals. We'll put the IG up here too, but. Fantastic photos, great gallery ad. I love this car. Got Japanese on the windshield. Yeah. I used to have Japanese on my Evo too. How neat is that? You ready to rate it? <laughs> I'm ready. Three, two, one, ten. Nine, nine. I love it. I think it's amazing. I like, I would drive the shit out of this. Hell yeah. Okay, third car of the day, Joes. What do we got? Oh, up next, we got a 2009 Nissan GTR on some Volk oh, TE37 huh? Ultras. I think I made this car in Forza once. I think I did too. Uh, 20 by 11, uh, plus 15 square setup, okay. Pirelli P0 tires, 315 35 on some KW suspension. Oh, baby. Coilover, so, you know, a little bit of a budget friendly setup here, you know, saving a little bit of money in the bank. I'm just kidding. That is like, like the top tier probably package. That there was no expenses with. spared on this. <laughs> uh, so this is, you want to read that yeah, one? Yeah, Pinoy Evo GTR. Hell yeah. This is 
this is GTR. Yeah. So we got a two inch spacer in the front and rear over fender, wide body trim, no rubbing or scrubbing. So we actually are looking at a bit of a wide body here, looking damn good. This got the wrap insane. on it. This thing looks crazy. It's good. looking like full on race car. It is. I love the body kit on it because it's not like super aggressive. You got like those, like, I don't know. I'm a sucker for like the front fender cutouts. Yeah. A little bit. I don't know why. I think that looks really, really good. I don't know how people have those fender cutouts and not just rock chip the absolute Dude, out of their cars, especially with the rear fenders yes. sticking out wider too. Like, yes. I feel like it's just rock city. I, yeah, no, I, I totally get that too. I mean, I, I would imagine like a few years on the road, the side of that car would just be destroyed. <laughs> For real, but I absolutely love these Volks on there. Mm -hmm. Holy sh! does that look good. The color of them too. Again, the wrap, very cool. Just got the race car vibes, got the big wing. Kind of got a theme going here. Yeah. It's like if the Z4 evolved, <laughs> you know what I'm saying? Yeah. All right. You've been playing too much Pokemon. Right? I've been playing a ton of Pokemon. Go. I don't to... Let's raid the car. <laughs> All right, so GTR on three. One, two, three, ten. nine and a half. Oh my, Jell's just like 10. You're, some ten. You're like Oprah, you get a 10. <laughs> you get a 10. <laughs> you have Look a under your chair. <laughs> <laughs> he pulls out 10. Holy shit. <laughs> <laughs> okay. All right. Ooh. To close out the day. What do we got? We have a 2017 Infinity Q60. So okay. we had the guys from MA Performance yeah. actually stop on by. They wanted some coilovers and wheels. We hooked them up with some BCs and some Artists of Titans. Not so this even, is yeah. cool. Hook it up with two sets of and I, Yeah, I'm not going to lie. I looked at the Q60 when they brought it in. I was like, Infinity doing stuff out here. <laughs> yeah. I I've been sleeping on Infinity because these yes. things are cool. So it's on some Volt T37s, 18 by 10. Oh, plus, plus 20. Firestoke, Firestoke, <laughs> stoke the fire. We're trying to get it going. All right, Firestone, Firehawk, Indy 500s, 275, 40, and BC Racing coilovers. Damn. Damn. Enthusiast underscore POVs, 2017 Infinity Q60. We'll see if we got anything oh else. Oh my we got, God. Oh, we got stuff. We got stuff. Ton of AMS stuff. Alpha tune, alpha intakes, alpha lower down pipes, alpha omega, all this stuff. <laughs> it's got a ton. It has an HKS super sequential blow off valve, which I think is one of the most iconic blow off valves on the market. Yeah, really. Uh, the TE37s. Uh, Catnick exhaust, aluminum drive shaft. We got upgraded two piece rotors, uh, aluminum under tray, front splitter, and then carbon damn. fiber side mirror. I didn't even know they made all this stuff for these cars. That's Dude, phenomenal. These, cars, these, like you, oh. like you said, these cars have really started like coming around. I think they've been like people have really been messing with them for a yeah. while. But like I think as of recently, we were, we're going to start seeing like a lot more of these pop up, and I'm okay with it because yeah. I love them. I, I think. It's a great looking car, big body cars. The Femin on here, he has some meats, obviously. Yeah. In my personal opinion, I think these cars could get away with a 19 I agree. and do it well. However, the 18s with the meaty setup looks just as good. And TE37s, they're like the flavor of the day today. Look really clean. I mean, this thing's kind of a sleeper, honestly. It, yeah. It's very subtle, but at the same time, very aggressive. Infinity out here doing some moves, mm -hmm. like I was saying earlier. I, I think it's a good looking yeah. car. I think these cars can do, you know, pretty much anything, right? Like you can have them be like, kind of like more like a VIP show car. Yeah. And they pull that off really good. Or you can throw some 18s on it with some sticky tires, throw some performance mods on it. I'd like to see some carbon fiber on it. I know sure. that can get a little tacky sometimes, but just a little taste yeah. of it here and there, I think would pull this all together. I agree. You ready to rate it? Yeah, absolutely. All right. Three, two, one, eight, eight and, and a half. half. Oh, we were right on point for that. Big Jinx, you own me soda. <laughs> You can't talk ah. now. No, you can't talk. You don't mean so. You got to get me a soda before you can talk. So thank you for tuning in. I'm going to spend the rest of the day trying to get a soda from Joe's for free so he can talk. Get your car added to the gallery so that way we can review it and you can help other enthusiasts like yourself out. And have a good day. All right. Wheels, tire, suspension, fitministries.com. Bye.